Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impression of the newest release from Zerjoff Groove Escape. I have the box here. This is the newest collaboration fragrance from Zerjoff and I was really excited about it because as you guys know, I love Tony Iommi so much. It's one of my favorite fragrances for men and for women. And so when I saw that they were doing another celebrity band collaboration because Tony Iommi was with Black Sabbath and this one is with the band called Subsonica. And when I saw the notes on this, I was even more excited to try it. So I got my hands on a box and I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts. So I'm gonna do kind of like a little mini unboxing it is a pretty unique fragrance just based on the nose. So anyway, all the Zerjovs come in 10 out of 10 packaging. The packaging experience with Zerjov is just unlike any other brand out there. They really make it a very luxurious experience with all the details in their packaging. So this is what the front looks like. It just has this design on it, Groove Escape. That's just the outer box. When you open it, it comes with their iconic leather beautiful display boxes with the Zerjoff symbol up front and you open it and it has the velvet inside and this is what the bottle looks like. So in the front here, it just says Groove Escape, pretty classic traditional Zerjoff packaging. So this is what the bottle looks like in the box and it's cool because you can kind of lift it up to present the bottle like this in your collection if you want to keep it in this really pretty, really luxe leather box. So the bottle is this very cool, metallic, shiny, kind of like this baby blue almost color with these black lines on it. I'm gonna spray it. The notes in this are pretty interesting. In the top, this has cardamom. It has a lot of pepper. It has elemi and ginger. There's a lot of spiciness in this fragrance. And in the mid, it has a lot of incense with a little bit of rose, <laughs> mimosa. It has some myrrh. And in the base, there's a ton of patchouli. I think it's like a very dirty patchouli like in Tony Iommi and it has labdanum and cedar and benzoin. It's very cool smelling. It's very unique and very different. It's not really like anything that I've ever smelled. It's insanely dry smelling and you just get that blast of the ginger and the incense. On the strip here, it's just incense, ginger and patchouli and a ton of pepper. Like I said, it's very, very spicy. It's very dry and this might sound crazy, but some Someone said this to me and ever since they said it, I really get what they were smelling is they said that to them, it smells like dry ice or like when you're at a festival and you know, they have the fog machine. It has a very distinctive smell that comes out of it. Just as the fog kind of rolls over the crowd, it has this very, very specific smell. And this smells like that a lot. It's almost a sweetness to it. I think it comes from the mimosa and the myrrh together. And to me, just the way that the notes are blended together, it almost smells like almost a little tiny bit like a tea fragrance, like a little bit of black tea, like a gray tea. It's really, really nice, but I think that it does lean a little masculine. I don't think that it's one that I would personally wear for myself, but it's very cool. I've never smelled anything even close to this before. It's insanely unique. If you buy this and you wear it, you will definitely stand out. And it's one of those fragrances I think that you smell it and you're not quite sure how you feel about it, but you wanna keep smelling it. It's alluring in that way. It really draws you in. It's definitely one of those types of fragrances that once you smell it, you wanna keep smelling it. It's also insanely balsamic. It's probably the most balsamic Zerjoff ever. But like I said, it's very dry. You really get that woody cedar. It's interesting because to me, it's light and it's dark at the same time, if that makes sense. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of times where I try to explain what I'm thinking or feeling and it just sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but that's what I think. It's light and dark at the same time. There's something in here that makes it bright, but then there's also all these darker notes like the patchouli and the incense that gives it this kind of smokiness. It's definitely very, very interesting. And totally, like I said a hundred times in this video, insanely unique. Nothing like I've ever smelled before. And I really love how Zerjoff does that when they collaborate with people, they really embody the whole 
message of the band or the person that they're collaborating with and it really just shines through in their fragrance like it's amazing how they do that like with Tony Iommi to me that smells like Black Sabbath it smells like rock and roll and this 100% to me smells like an EDM festival very cool how they do that it just creates this amazing visual in your mind and I definitely think this is a very cool release from Zerjoff very very sexy on a man I wouldn't say that you would want to wear this daily but I think that if you really wanted to you could could pull it off in a lot of different circumstances. I feel like it'd be a really good date night fragrance or even like a very elegant fragrance. But yeah, I don't think it's one that I would recommend wearing just like day to day. I think that it's better for nighttime or an occasion, but just because it's so unique. It's so, it's kind of out there in a way. It's definitely going to be one that's polarizing, but as it's drying down, it's kind of evening out a little. I really like this one. I'm really happy that I got my hands on this bottle and got to try it. Zerjoff is a 10 out of 10 house for me. Everything they put out is incredible. I have so many Zerjoff fragrances, as you guys know, and I am very excited to see what they keep putting out and trying new fragrances. So this was my little mini review, first impression of Groove Escape in collaboration with Max Sachi, a DJ, guitarist, co-founder of the band Subsonica, a very famous Italian band. So let me know if you guys have had the opportunity to smell Groove Escape. If you try to sample, if you have a bottle, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the fragrance, about the notes. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.